only sent me for 12, but just taking the 12 number and doubling it to replace the 24 mats that are currently on the driving range is going to cost $36,019.20. So, um, you, you know, just let me know when you want me to do that and we'll go forward uh, with that project. I know that some of them are looking a little rough. Yeah. So. A little? <laughs> well, I was being How kind. How long are they? Five, six, five years. Five years. Yeah, yeah, and that's about. The original install was around 50, wasn't it? Or was it that much? Well, we paid for the pavers and the, yeah. and the concrete yeah. pad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was about 50. And, and they told us when we bought them, four to five year shelf life. Yeah. And then uh, but, John did say during Irma that a lot of them blew away. And this way, if there's a storm, you know that you can, yeah. you'll mark them so you know that this is what We'll mark them. When we get the new ones, we're going to mark them. And in then we order. can put them yeah. in and not have And it might even be more worthwhile to pull them up if we knew something like Irma was coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Right. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Pull them up. Because I think they caught, that caused a lot more damage to them oh, at yeah. that point in time. So, yeah, because that, that material on the bottom, it gets brittle and it breaks and it cracks and it, yeah. you know, and it just turns into, not mush, but it just, it, it, Yuck. Um, again, when they get wet, they get so heavy, you know, from the, just from irrigation and, yeah. you know, rains and stuff, they tend to get real heavy and, you know, you try to move them around, that, that tends to want to, you know, add that extra weight on, makes them want to break. And, uh, but, if, if but we, we would, would, yeah, that would be a good idea if we were to have like an imminent storm to lift them up. And we can put them right in the cart barn. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. Or stack them along the side or somewhere, yeah. protect yeah. them, yeah. Or something. Yeah. Under the tent? Yeah. Even back up there in between Duffy's and the cart barn, back in that little corner. Oh, it's going to be taken down. We can't do it under the tent. We could put it on the pad, though. I mean, you and know. cover them. Right. Something so they're not all flipping away. Okay. Right. So, um, and you had, um, do you have any comments about the, um, the mats? No, I think we just need to move forward with it just because they're in such bad shape that our new season's coming. Right. I mean, I used them recently and they were real early that. Can you hold the tea up? So, you know, yeah. I was just going to pull it too. right now. Well, um, Ed did say maybe we could uh, use some of the water fund money if we need to. Um, Financial well, I mean, um, I was looking at the financial statement, and if you look under uh, due from the general fund, um, there's some money due from the general fund that we could pull out. Um, I mean, uh, how looks like 35683 plus this month, uh -huh. so that would be another sixteen. So that would basically pay for both of these projects. Okay. Well, I think we need to go ahead with it sooner or later. What is, um, if we, um, 30, 60, 90 days, how are they with that? Well, they, it's a split bill with them. Uh, you pay half and then half upon a time of delivery. Okay. So, and I think that the upon time of delivery can be pulled out 30 days as well. All right. I mean, I talked to him on the phone about it. You know, I told him our situation. and. Yeah, I was looking for. Would you like to have them in? From a, from a, you know, if we're just projecting this as a regular season. Um, I would say probably sometime before Christmas would be great, yeah. because you know usually the, the 26th of December denotes the date that we really start taking off. So you think you get another month out of what we currently have? Yeah, yeah, I can get another month out. Yeah, of let's it. get another month, six weeks. So okay. I'll, I'll contact them, tell them to put the correct bid together, uh -huh. and then we'll start the process. Um, can I have a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. Okay. Um, Can you spend any more money, Jim? No, I, 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 I think no. that's it for now. That's it for now. Thank you. Um, we're having a, a good month again. I mean, it's you know we're probably going to be right at budget, uh, maybe a couple thousand over budget. Uh, the snack bar has done exceptionally well. You know, obviously uh, the Beef or Brady's event helps a lot with that. Um, you know, uh, it, it's been a, it's been a, another good month. I, I'm very interested. Uh, November first, we go to two-person carts and we go back to crossovers. I'm interested to see how that's going to work. We've had some people uh, come and ask about, hey, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable. Can I get a single cart? 
and I've told them that we will accommodate them the best we can, but the eventuality is we have to go back to double carts to, to be viable for the season. I mean, we can't make the numbers that we're projecting without being two to a cart. And I spoke to uh, someone in the women's league, and they're like, well, what about the dividers? And I said, you know, that's a seven, eight, nine thousand dollar cost that maybe we'll use for six months. It's not something we keep all the time. And I said, I'm sorry for that to that off. And I said, if you want to, if I was in the cart with you, would you be comfortable if I wore a mask while I was in the cart with you? She said, well, yeah, but you want to keep taking it on and off. And I said, if that's what it takes to get us to play golf, I'll do it. You know, and I, I think most people would be accommodating. I know there are some people that have major underlying health conditions that said, if it's not a single card, I can't play. I get that. So, um, And we'll do our best to accommodate them, especially here in November and December. This is when we get to January, February, March, and right. April. That really becomes an issue. Right. So we'll, we'll see what happens at that point, but um, I, I don't think I we have... back to what I've said is, playing golf, it's not a necessity. No. It's, you know, you are, you are to some degree taking your own risk by showing up and, and interacting with people, regardless if it's golf or going to the grocery store or anything else, but we, as long, I think we have gone well out of our way and we will continue to go out of our way as long as it's reasonable. But by showing up to play golf, you are taking some responsibility on yourself, on your own health, because you certainly don't have to be there. No. Yeah. So, I so we play by ear. I mean, if sales just plummet because nobody wants to ride singles, then we, you know. I don't think we'll see that. No, me, but it, just in case if it did, I mean, then we, our hand gets forced. You, you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Well, I think yeah. people are concerned of if they're playing with somebody they don't know. Right. Now, if we're playing together, you know, it's fine because we know what we've been doing. So right. that, that's where it becomes an issue is if mm -hmm. you're going to put somebody together with somebody they don't know where the hell they've been. Right. Yeah, and, and, the, and the other part of that, too, uh, a lot of people are concerned about the people coming from the north. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, like, you know, yeah. we've all been together here all summer. Yeah. You know, we play golf together, been around each other. We're okay. But what about Joe Blow coming from X, Y, or Z? Yeah. You know, um, does he have it? And another big she factor is this time next week, who, who's going to be president of the United States of America? What direction are they going to move, you know, in with COVID? I mean, if it's, you know, the incumbent, then I think we'll be fine. If it's the other one, then, hey, we may be looking at possible shutdowns or, you know, so that's something very seriously to take into consideration. I mean, it's, it's two totally different outlooks on how to deal with the pandemic. So... Well, you might look at a mask mandate. That, that's that's if if, if right. But if, you can accommodate the people right now, right? Even yeah. If they through November, most likely. Yeah, I mean, you know, like November's expectation on rounds, it would be close, and we would run out of carts at points. But yeah. December, you run out. Yeah, yeah, and then December gets worse. You're right. Yeah. Um, and then January, there's just not. Sure. It can't happen. But. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You know, to John's. Have to watch the fact that we have people who are just getting used to riding in their own car, too. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, I. I well, it's, it's definitely, nice. it's it's definitely like helped the pace of play, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, you know, we're going to get back into. One last question. Test. Give us what you're So, what I'm gathering is on Sunday morning, when golfers show up, the guys are just going to start putting them to the car. Yes. If nobody says anything, yeah. then you just move on. That, that would be my suggestion. Yeah. Some other clubs are charging an additional fee if you want, if you want, you know, if you want uh, your own cart. It's not a bad idea, but uh, you know. But we won't we, be in season. We won't have enough carts. It's still, I mean, in season, somebody's liable to pay. Okay, I'll pay twenty extra dollars for my own cart. And then we're still going to run out of cart. We're still at the same yeah. issue. I mean, we made 20 bucks, but yeah. uh, but we don't have the carts to accommodate other people. So right. it's a lose lose. <sighs> well, we'll have to go with it and see what happens. Yes, yes, ma'am. I mean, that's that's where we're at. And um, other than that, I really don't have a lot going on. Oh, the the AJGA reached back out uh, here. You know. Uh, Couple weeks ago, and um, 
offered up some dates for July and I wanted to make sure you guys are okay with this. Uh, they were looking at July 18th through the 21st to host another event and those are normally like, you know, it's July, it's, there's not a lot going on. And John can work his um, yeah, the summer maintenance and verifications around that? Yeah, it's already already in the, already and done. And we did well financially with that. Yeah, it was, yeah. Remind us what that is. The American Junior Golf Association. American Junior Golf Association. It's a it's a major championship for junior golf. The PGA Tour junior golf. This year it was in September. The end of September. Yeah. And we got it because a lot of the private courses where they had it um, did not want outsiders. So we said okay. And I have to tell you, those kids were so polite. They were. Um, Thank you for what you're doing. Of course, I was quite humbled watching this little kid in a seven iron, 168 yards, and ended up this whole part of the hole. So, um, but they could not have been nicer. Uh, the staff was amazing. Yeah. Um, and I, I think we got a lot of press from it, and I think we can get a lot more next year when we're pushing it. Because it was a really short time, and next year we're going to do the. Um, the junior am, which we didn't have the opportunity to do this year because it was just so close, but we could make some money from that as well. Make a Wish was a charity this year. Um, I'm not sure what the charity will be next year. Maybe Make a Wish again. It may be something else, but uh, you know, it was it was it was a positive all the way around. And I think it'd be a positive to have it again. And then with the tent, we could maybe you know serve more food and cater things and do something different. So I think it's I think it was good for us. So you guys good with that? We'll go ahead and yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Uh, other than that, I don't have a lot. Uh, one thing, we did increase uh, Andy Scott's annual payment from uh, 2000 a year to uh, uh, 40, 40, let's see, 4800 a year. So uh, Chase, I don't know if you guys have had a chance or an opportunity to meet Chase Marinell. Mm -hmm. Chase has been working here a lot, and you know he's sorry his business is starting to pick up. So I said to Andy, "Hey, I told you when he came that uh, if, he, if he took off, that we would need to increase this." You know, I try to base it off what I think he's making it at 10 percent, and uh, you know I think they're making about 45 to 50 thousand dollars at 10 percent. Okay. Um, Andy will be going back to Kelly Green's here uh, on November 1st. He will be here on Saturdays only after that, or maybe if, if they're closed at Kelly Green's for the day, he might be over here. But other than that, he won't be here. But Chase will be here. But Chase will be here. Chase will continue to be here and work from here and at Kelly Green's. So. General fund, the only uh, thing that was not for year end, uh, the insurance payment went all to the pro shop, so there will be some adjust adjustments. Jeff Pinder's working on that. They weren't charged for any of the insurance, so that will, um, that will affect our, um, our totals of the year that Jeff's working on that. Well, why were there big jumps in the contingencies of legal, legal advertising? <clears throat> that, um, the contingencies were. Um, the land appraisal. Uh, the same question. Every, every week. Every, every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. No, I know. Yeah, I remember having a conversation on engineering, but I don't remember. Yeah. What about the legal advertising? Um, legal advertising is going to be related to yeah, public yeah, hearing. Yeah, public yeah. hearing thing? You had your public hearings. Advertisements for projects. We have that every year. So we need to make that larger in the budget. <coughs> Did we have to do it higher this year because of the Zoom meetings and the canceling of the meetings? And you, you have had to run an ad every single month, which you don't typically have to do. And right. it's because each time you do virtual with the 
visiting address, there's a new address that came from an all encompassing ad that mm -hmm. just has a conference call number that holds your ads the same. Right. So, so that's, that's, yeah. what, that's what pushed you up as well. So that was an adjustment, so we may have to look at that. Uh, I was just curious, seven months of that. Yeah. Seven, eight months of that. So. It's not a huge number, it's just that's look cool. at the. It's a jump, but that's right. what it is, because when you're doing that, um, that does help it. Um, and new bonds were in the event. And the golf course bunker um, loan to make the payment in the interest next month. And unfortunately, we did not have to do anything in uh, abating that because we we're doing well enough with that. Um, the irrigation fund, um, we're still putting it on. I want to just mention that we are making a payment. Yes, we are. On 11 one. On 11 one, we're making the payment. There's a payment of 32,000. 32,000, so that's. And we've got the money for that, so that's fine with that. Um, the irrigation fund, we're good with that. Uh, as of year end, we still um, owe them to the Chuck, something came up with the irrigation fund, this, uh, and uh, we probably discussed it before. With the water meters, to go electronically, you know, the Florida Power and Light Party does it now, is that on the residents for the, um, their water, or would that be set up through the irrigation? Like if we wanted to change the meters so that it was um, automatic. So they're digital. Digital. Just drive by with a sensor. Yeah. Um, I think we looked at that pricing on it. It was a few hundred thousand. It was, a few yeah. thousand. It, was a, it was about a hundred and fifty thousand at the time. Right, but would that be on the residents, or would that be from the irrigation? The irrigation fund would would fund it that would recover the revenue needs through through your uh, user fees. Ultimately, okay. it would be on the residents. On the Somebody's residents. got to pay for it. Right, yeah. well, that's, that's it. That's that that would be a special it. assessment. Uh, I wouldn't see it. I think we can make an adjustment in their user rates. We haven't actually adjusted their user rates in a few years. Um, Does that mean you'd have to adjust the golf course because user rates? It's possible doing really well because of the, uh, the overage we get in the penalty rates. So right. We're not using a laser so. deal. I know at the time we looked at it, it just didn't seem like it was worth it financially. No, it's not. It is. Yeah, and it, I mean, there's a number of negatives to it. I mean, it, it, I see the bigger utilities go into it. Uh -huh. um, I think you just run the opportunity anytime you can do something digitally for there to be issues in the software or how it's read. Mm -hmm. um, the idea with the mechanical meters, you physically getting into the box every single box, opening the top, peeking inside, and if there's a slow leak going on, you're going to see that, you should be able to go get, get it addressed. If you just drive the line, you're not going to see it. Um, slowly. It's just, it's worked well. I've done it for 30 years over at Pelican Landing. Okay. We've always gone with the mechanicals. It's just, it's simple. Oh, no, that's fine. It, for, it forces a set of eyes into that box every month to see what's going on. Right. So. And I think you would still face the same mechanical issues, not even electrical, but just mechanical issues. Right. So you're still potentially going to have a faulty meter that's going to have to be replaced, which is more expensive because it's digital. Right. right. You know, it's not making it digital doesn't make the actual meter part itself more efficient. Right. It just makes it easier to make it faster. Right. Faster. Right. faster right. Right. That was just a, something brought up. Yeah, we've looked at it talked about it several times over the years. Um, our cash balance as of last Friday was ninety two thousand seven hundred. So um, actually, it's like $23,000 over what we were last year at this point. Um, this is the year-end statements, and I will say that um, yeah, the change in the position is 92468 but again, about 20, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, that you guys had to adhere to, and I know you thought it was painful at first. Um, <laughs> but um, 
I think we, we all did a great job. Um, there was nothing that I, you know, the only thing that I saw that was out of whack was the um, the insurance. Um, does anybody else have any comments about the budget? I know that something caught my eye. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I actually saw that too, Chris, and was wondering if maybe they're not big numbers, but why is it well, 300 percent above budget? I, I I think maybe we under budgeted that. Uh, you know that the te the telephone actually includes cable and internet, so I think maybe we we okay. we might have under budgeted that amount. That. Because if I look at the inter internet access. Uh, it was a uh, $996 was budgeted and zero was spent. So if you look that in, in the phone, that's, yeah. Okay. Should that cable and any type be separated? Well, it comes in one bill, so. Yeah. Bundled, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's all bundled. <clears throat> okay. All right, that makes sense then. Um, okay, let's Yeah, it's just a tech right? yeah, okay. so, okay. yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just on that one page. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the. Um... I'll make a motion to accept. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The minutes from the last meeting, um, and Chuck, and I have to check this Kathy, who was a resident. I'm not sure we spelled her name wrong, so I'm going to double check with her today, and then, I, then I'll text her. Okay. So, um, any changes on the first page? I had no changes on page two. I don't know if anybody has changes. Uh, I've changes, changes on page three. Um, four. Oh, John, with the, um, I was just looking at that. So, we for the uh, Bellhaven. Mm -hmm. uh, we're paying 12000 to the pipe guys. And so we're well under the fifteen thousand dollars. Well under. Okay, thank you. Um, I did talk to some people who were on the street. And Bob. Yeah. And then we had that big rain last. I don't know. It was last Saturday or Saturday before. I guess it was Saturday before. Really downpour. It rained all day on your road, didn't it? Yes. But don't forget the lakes are hot. Yeah. So it didn't run off quite as fast as it should, but it did. It was better. Okay. So I mean, that's kind of what I've heard from other yeah. people on the street too. Okay. It wasn't flooded or anything. Okay. Yeah. okay. That right. was a relief. Yes. For that money? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, any change? Any other changes? Um, okay. Any other changes? Um, another motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I did forget to mention um, that we went uh, just did our quarterly zero consumption report. Um, we had 41 meters that were bad. Really? Um, wow. But that's not that's typical. Oh, okay. really? That's not bad. That's a lot there. How often do you do that? Chuck? Quarterly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, like so <clears throat> during the summer, we actually only do it three times a year during the yeah. summer. It, most people, the list gets so massive because a lot of people are shutting irrigation off. Yeah. But starting in October, we'll do it three times between now and the start of summer. Yeah. And you yeah, know, when you think about that, if we go to digital meters, the meter itself is still basically the same meter. Right. It's just got a digital aspect, so right. you're replacing the meters anyway. Yeah, well, no, you remember too, though, on the digital meters, you get to keep the digital part. You just replace the meter, okay. so yeah, it comes it's off. One piece. And no, no, it comes off, and you, and, and you, and you can put it on. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that, I mean, it's still a 
a higher cost. Right. You know. Okay. I have a question, John. Um, my water bill is zero, so is my neighbor's. And I know we're using it. So have, yeah. there, there seems to be a group here on Burwich that um, we're all zero consumption. So. I mean, mine was four cents, and I haven't changed anything. Yeah, and, and I mean, I know my neighbor runs it three days a week, and I run it um, twice a week. Maybe a ring since she's working well. Maybe well, you know, I, I, it seemed like my last bill was like double what my normal yeah. bill was. Yeah, my last bill was higher, and then now it was nothing. So, so I mean, just something that Crosby can look at on Burwich when she does it. Next okay, time. and yours, yours as well. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to say that my my bill jumped ten times. Oh yeah. It's last month, and I haven't changed it. I'm working with uh, Crosby now. Something like that. Because mine was usually four or five dollars, and it came in at like twelve eighty-five. Yeah, yeah. I did notice there was yeah, a my, large. Mine went from thirty-seven, three dollars and seventy cents up to thirty-seven dollars. Yeah. yeah. There's some yeah. pretty big numbers here. Yeah. yeah. I've been getting quite a few of those lately. I'm still getting drum rolls from the uh, utility bill and department about that lot of misreads. So. Okay. Uh, John and I had some discussion on that a couple of weeks ago. And okay. I don't know if he's got a report on what he addressed with, uh, with Crosby or not. But oh, my okay. concern was maybe she had somebody new actually doing the readings. And yeah. I guess I understand she's actually doing the readings. So. Yeah, it, it's a combination of several things. Um, so a few months back, Dan and them, they changed the way that they're, they want the bill sent in. So now it's all, we get a spreadsheet digitally, and she's having to type the numbers in on her phone. Instead of writing them down in the book, uh, so you know, I don't know if you ever text messages and stuff. Sometimes you, and because you're right, I, you know, I just I set it down like I don't know what the hell's going on, but this is getting out of hand. Yeah. You know, I mean, you look on that next door, and they're just getting bashed. You know, I'm like, what is going on? You know, um, do, do we need you want to get her an iPad or something? I mean, something a bigger, bigger screen. Uh, uh, I can't imagine doing it on the phone. Oh, I can't. Yeah. No, I, can do it on I mean, that, that would be, that would be up to the board. I'm, I'm sure she'd you know love to have something like that. Um, so that can yeah. come out of the irrigation fund if you need it. Yeah. To All right. I'll let her. I'll get some simple. Okay. Um, yeah. But also, so we we like we had an issue where we we corrected it. It was read wrong. Um, we realized it. Talked to Anna Vivian about it. But that correction never took place for like three months after. Oh. So it was, and we have all the, you know, the, all the email documentation going back with Anna Vivian saying, hey, this is what, and um, we just took care of, that was Jeff Robert on uh, Pembroke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because when I got there, I looked at the number, and it wasn't even the number he gave us. That, remember Robert said 53,000, it was like 411, and I'm looking at Cross, and I'm looking at Robert, I'm like, what are you guys reading? <laughs> like, what, what meter are you guys reading? I, I'm looking at other, I go to every meter. Checking other meters way down the way, maybe you know something got lost in translation. Um, so I think it's a combination between that and, and I have I said down across was like, hey, we gotta you know we gotta get these right. I mean, I know it's not a lot of money, but when you got 30 people and then some of them are, some are you know a couple hundred dollars and people are like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. We're just telling people don't pay anything, don't panic, don't pay anything. Let's work it out and we'll get it taken care of. It's a digital read. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you go to digital because you take the operator error out of play. But there's and there's still, and I remember it's been a while. <laughs> I know. But there's I still <laughs> there's still problems with that system. You know, there's still um, the batteries in the meters. You know, because they have to keep you know stay. It's not like they're hooked up to a power source. The sending units. The sending units. Um, yeah, you could read the whole neighborhood in probably an hour. You just drive by because you can, I know you can travel to 35 mile an hour or something like that. So having it on the cart. You could easily drive this whole neighborhood in an hour. Uh, I don't mind where it is. When it rains hard, heavy, mm -hmm. it full of water. Full yeah, water, right. It floods right water. And I don't know if that affects them too much. I don't think it really does. Because um, that's sort of typical of ballometer boxes. They yeah. tend to hold water. Uh, but but just those are just some of the things that, that we, we've come across. Yes, yeah, there's been some misreads. Um, and. You know, hopefully this this will may hopefully make a big difference um, because before you had to sit there and write each number down, and that kind of helps. You know, looking at it, seeing it, writing it down. You know, um, it takes a little bit longer, but I, I don't think it takes 
that much longer. But so the, so that's been the issues here, but the combination between misreads and then just you know the back well, and let's forth. Let's get her a tablet. Yeah. Have yeah. her go get a tablet. Um, you know, get into the Geek Squad because you've got the uh, yeah. maintenance thing there. Right, something cheap like an Acer or something like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 and then you put the software program in there and she can off and running and she should be able to just upload directly from there. You get a bigger key patch. Yeah. Yes, Make it easier that. for it. The, the other thing that they had mentioned is sometimes it takes multiple days to get a response back on because they're the front line taking a call from a customer. Yeah. And you have a misread or something and it could be three to five days later before they get anything from cars being constantly getting badgered. Right. They're getting butchered at customer service issues with the slow response. So anything would be there to speed that up. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to have to, you know, as soon as you get them in, go look at them, you know what yeah. I mean? Instantly, yeah. just run out there and check them. Just yeah. kind of impress upon them the real importance of that because they're the ones on the front line. So yeah. It, it's, yeah. And if she can pop yeah. out there, you know, if they call at 10 o'clock in the morning and she can get back to them within two or three hours, I think yeah. that would be. Just the same day. I don't yeah. think it's, <laughs> right. it needs to be within the hour. But yeah. Chris, do you have anything? No, I think uh, just I think Jeff and John did a great job this weekend. Of course, was in great shape. Jeff was host, and you know, I, think, I think everybody was really happy with the East tournament. Mm -hmm. it looked great. Looked people like got it by. went over well, and you know there was a good example of the use of the tent. And instead of going to Peters because of potential COVID, we all cramped in that. Offered the tent, which was which was good. And uh, I think that's a, it's a, I really think there's some revenue potential there with that tent. Yeah. Um, I have one more thing. Um, when we when we uh, pared down for COVID, we staffed down, you know, and then we've kind of held at that. Now we're going to staff back up. Once we staff back up, there will be no longer any employees that are volunteers. Okay. All employees will be on payroll covered by our workman's comp and um, you know so As forth. I, I wanted to make you guys aware yeah. of that. Because that's where we were hopefully heading to. Yeah. Mike? Uh, no, I, I think things are going pretty good right now. I think uh, you guys are doing a great job. And, uh, Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, see I... a lot of potential with this tent day truth going forward. Yeah, we never even mentioned the price of the tent yet. A rent when you give it out. Are you charge for it? How much? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll probably add like a per offer fee in there. Um, oh, okay. Somewhere, you know, depending on the amount of so players. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that will allow us to uh, pay for it, per se. Yeah. And then, like, if you don't want to do a wedding, we, you know, I have to, I, I really don't know what, uh, what the normal rental price for a venue for a wedding is. So I have to look into all that, but yeah. uh, once we get to that point and or birthday parties, I thought that was a great suggestion. Or birthday parties, or right there, especially yeah. if you yeah. put it right next to the yeah. driving range, you could rope off X amount of yeah. uh, mm -hmm. slots on the drive. It's not, you know, as long as it's not in season or something right. like that, or, or it's in the afternoon and whatever. They would kind of have that area to themselves and would keep potential kids in that area. Mm -hmm. And boy, I think about that driving range it sounds much better. Yeah. It's you definitely know, better on by the range because it will, it will separate those people from all the people on the putting green and you can have car traffic coming in and out. If you need more room, you can knock them bushes down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. um, the only thing that I have is that I know we budgeted to um, give the employees their year end Christmas bonus. Um, let's look to do it so that they're getting in their. Um, when do they get paid in December? Oh, uh, so that would be, um, let's see. I know it's only October, but I don't want to. Sorry, I'm All right, so that's, <laughs> they get paid in December. Uh, we can do it, uh, it would have to be on the 18th. Come back. Yeah. Okay. By the 8th, so paper to the 18th. You want to yeah, we can talk about it next month, but I just want it on the, um, so that they uh, get it paid before Christmas. The other thing is, um, are you going to do a luncheon for them? like we normally do. Something to think about, we can bring it up next month. Just want you to think about it. Yeah, we can, I mean, yeah. Maybe Christmas. Maybe use Pops barbecue. Yeah. 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 Yeah
That was. I, I would like to do that. Yeah. Twenty bucks a head. That's. Yeah, that's well really good that. too. Yeah. John, for Christmas bars, when's the payday around Thanksgiving? Around Thanksgiving? Yeah. Um. So the closest payday to Thanksgiving is November twentieth. That's a Friday before. Four month in advance. Do we want to do it in November or December? They get paid on the 20th? They get paid on the 20th of November, yes. And then the next one would be like December 4th. 4th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that I would do the Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting back together on the 10th. We so make that decision. We have plenty of time. Yeah, we have plenty of time. But, I, you know, I think early December would be more yeah, than right. Christmas and not too far back. So, okay. All right. So that what we want to do? We're going to do it for the 4th, but we'll talk about it next month at the meeting. So it would be in their 4th paycheck. Oh, for the 4th of December. 4th of December. Yeah. Gotcha. What? I thought you said December 14th. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry. I do have one. Oh, yes. I apologize. No problem. But I've been approached the last few months about residents not knowing when these meetings are. Can we get something to where uh, the, we do the email? Yes, I will do that. Okay. I did it. I, I, I don't know why it's something we haven't done. And for some other reason, I never really even thought about it. Okay. But I've had four or five people come up to me literally the last month or two, and I forgot to mention it last month, that I can not only can't at least get an email notification. Can you join that on your phone with us? Uh, and I think the only thing that changes, well, in my um, newsletter, I always put when the next meeting is going to be. And I think it's in the paper, too. Not that. only in your article, but I think it's on the, in the paper. But I, I will make a, uh, a note to have um, them send it, and send it out the week before the Chuck, meeting. This is when the next meeting is going I believe you have a new girl in the office, Karen? Karen. 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 Um, she sends out the, uh, the notice. I mean, could we get her an email list that when she sends us this, that way every they get a copy of this? They're not. We, we don't want the database mm -hmm. uh, scheduled for the association. Otherwise, all those email addresses become right. public. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because what I'll do is I will take uh, that front thing where she, she says what. that notice to an email address here, and then they can just forward it. Yeah, that would be because yeah. then they 